this is a lecture six in learning about transformers and this trans this lecture is about losses in the transformers what we saw so far was about the transformer introduction we saw the different types of transformer also the ideal transformer the transformer without any losses was seen then we saw the practical transformer considering the resistance reactance and the different losses in the transformer also the open circuit and the short circuit testing of the transformer was done to find out parameters like resistance reactance and to draw the equivalent circuit of the transformer also the different losses like the core losses and the copper losses of the transformer was found out then the sumner's back to back testing was done this was done to find out the loading or the heating performance by considering the copper losses and the core losses acting on the transformer at the same time so the different losses in a transformer are core losses which are mean which are also known as magnetic losses and this losses happen due, due to the setting up of magnetic field or flux in the core and the windings and these losses include hysteresis and ed current losses and these are also known as ion losses and the other kind of losses is the copper losses and these losses are the i square r losses in the primary and the secondary winding also considering the losses or due to heating occurring in the heating occurring due to magnetic leakage that is the losses happening in the magnetic reactants of the primary and the secondary winding are considered in this kind of losses the efficiency of the transformer is usually given as output divided by input which is the all efficiency of any machine and the input of any machine can be given as the output plus the losses so the efficiency of transformer can be written as output divided by output plus cu losses and the ion losses or the magnetic losses which are happening in the transformer so this is one way to find out the efficiency of transformer and the output and the input in this case is measured in kilowatts and the condition for maximum efficiency of a transformer is core loss equal to copper loss and when the magnetic losses will be equal to the magnetic losses usually happen in the primary part of the transformer and that is used to set up the flux and when this losses is equal to the core loss which is copper loss which is happening in the secondary part then the transformer will have maximum efficiency and the another term is an all day efficiency normal transformer efficiency is rated as output divided by input but for some transformer like distribution transformers which are operated for 24 hours continuously it is seen that the primary is excited for 24 hours and will load, will use the core losses while the secondary is highly loaded only during the peak load times and during the other time it is very lightly loaded and there will be a variation in the copper losses which is happening during a period of 24 hours so if the efficiency is founded out by the previous method of output divided by output plus input plus losses output plus losses it will not give very accurate result so to find out the efficiency of such kind of transformer accurately an all day efficiency method is used in an all day efficiency is given as a ratio of output measured in kilowatt hour to input measured in kilowatt hour so the output energy of the transformer during 24 hours and the input energy of the transformer during 24 hours measured in kilowatt hour is taken and both this the ratio of the output to the input will give the efficiency of the transformer and this is the ratio of the energy output in 24 hours to the energy input in 24 hours so this is how all the efficiency of transformer are found out mainly for the distribution transformers that's all if you like this video please do subscribe like and comment